Hey, what's up everybody? It's Richie here. We are back, and you can guess why. Because I seriously, seriously love this game. Undertale is one of my all-time favorites, and for a great reason. It's, it's a game where you don't have to kill people. It's um, very balanced, it's very well made, and uh, over everything else, it's such an incredibly touching game. And that's the reason I wanted to come back. Not only because I, I love this game, but because the last time we played it, and I, I don't think any of you will remember the last time we played it. It wasn't well accepted then, but we were also getting like an average of 5 to 10 views on each video. We're up to like 60 or 70 views per video now. That's, that's seriously amazing. But when I played it, I played the normal playthrough. A game where you, you kill some people, you let some people live. Just at the regular ending. And I have heard that the ending that matters, the ending that makes this game so beautiful and touching, is not that one. It's the pacifist ending, an ending where you go through the entire game without killing a single person. You take the way of peace, and I, I, I really, really, just, just like that, and even, even, even if there wasn't another story to play, I would still play this again, because it's just, it's just so much fun. Aw, oh, there goes our save. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. We're back. We are back in the beautiful world of Undertale. And this means way more to me than it should. I still feel regret every single time I think of Toriel. Whoa, 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 whoa. He says don't... Does he know? Does he know that that we reset the save? He... He knows! Oh my gosh. Flowey the flower knows that we reset our save. I forgot about this. He doesn't forget anything. No matter, like, what world it is, how many times you reset the save, it doesn't matter. Flowey, the evil maniacal flower, always remembers. Before we go any farther, if you haven't played this game, please do before watching, or watch it at your own risk. Because it is a game best experienced blind. I have never played the pacifist route, I've never seen the ending, and I've done that so that I can share my reaction with you guys. And Flowey. Flowey little white friendliness pellets flower. I know your tricks. <laughs> hey buddy, you missed him. Let's try that again, okay? <laughs> I am evil. Ah. Uh, uh, no thanks. Not that I, I know I know what they I, kn I know what they are. Oh You know what's going on here, don't you? Yes, maniacal evil world destroying flower. I do. And you know, d d judging on what you did last time, I wouldn't mind seeing you suffer. Just just a little bit. Oh no 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 <gasps> It's Toriel! It's Toriel! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, if you could see the smile on my face! I did everything so bad last time. I did everything all wrong last time, and I actually spent close to six months regretting the events of a video game. And this time... This time... I'm gonna do it right.
that's our first save. There is our very first save. I'm really glad I just started recording this. I was originally going to do it with a face cam. Um, it, it took me a while to figure it out, and eventually I figured I just wasn't going to do it like that. Because uh, the way my computer is set up right now is a laptop, so it makes a ton of white noise, so I sit really close to the mic in order to counteract that. I'm like an inch, an inch away right now. And basically, I had the face cam working, but it was like a mic with my face behind it. You couldn't see any of my facial expressions, so I figured, let's just, let's just get working. Let's see if we like this. And I have to admit, I really, really like just, just in this five minutes. So I am going to make this a series. And we're gonna make these uploaded as soon as, as possible. I guess, ooh, ooh, what, what switch to a flip? I'm scared. I'm scared. Ah, that switch. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna make this a series. We're gonna upload it in the blank days. And what I'm gonna do, or try to do, is film four or five episodes today. That might be, that might be a lot. Two or three. But then I'll edit them. I'll upload them every little bit, and then I'll get them to you. So we might actually have uploads every single day for a while. I don't know if I can keep that up, but if we can, it'll be cool. You know what I've never gotten? I'm not sure if it's like some sort of a story or just like a little joke in the game, but next to basically every save point is a mouse hole and a cheese. And you're, you're inspired by the mouse being near the cheese. Isn't that great? <gasps> it's nest block! <laughs> Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Well, I guess we have to. <gasps> nest block! <gasps> you are the best! Okay, we are going uh, to cheer poor little Nasta Block up. Oh, and he's crying. Well, I guess I guess that's what a sad immortal ghost does. But we're gonna cheer you up, Nasta Block. You are going to be our friend again. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. How did I act annoyed in my first playthrough? Does that just like? say something about my personality changing just a little bit? Maybe? Hopefully? I would like to think I got nicer. <gasps> okay, this is working well. <gasps> and he can make a hat. I mean, with his tears. It, given, but it's a really nice hat. And Nasta Block is a really cool guy. Oh, no, 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 cry. No crying, beautiful Mr. Ghost Guy. Alright. Okay, okay. Let's cheer him one more time. Aww. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today, I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Nasta block. You are amazing. Up here. I believe. No, it's not up here. It's over there. And it is the spider bake sale. However, I don't think I've ever had enough gold to make the spider bake sale work, so, you know what? And now we can go to the bake sale, put some gold in the web, and there we go. Sorry about that distraction, I just, I wanted to do that really quick, just because I've never done it before. I've only played this game once, hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned you up. I wasn't expecting to have company so soon. And there are probably a lot of things lying around here and there. But you know what, Toriel? It's fine. It's fine. I just realized I read that entirely. I just read... Ah, uh, okay. There's a lever somewhere. And I'm guessing that Lot Lover is right here. Please, please, yes! It's funny how memory works. 
you, you it's you subtly remember things. Like if someone w would have asked me where that letter was, you know, with <sighs> onward. Oh, I remember this puzzle. If I remember it correctly. And if I remember it correctly. Yeah, the perspective flips. Every single time. And also, this is a great lesson in gaming. If you just read the signs, it tells you what to do. It tells you exactly what to do. And the first time I, w I went through here, I was stuck for so long. <laughs> and I didn't even bother to read the sign. Around the bend, and if you can read this, press the red switch. And that will open the gate up really quick. And I think we have one more little bit of area to clear. So, if we read this, and if, if we don't get attacked by monsters, but yeah, 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 then it says press the green switch, and this is the tricky one, because we don't know which switch is behind which lever. Yeah. We pressed, we pressed the switch that was the wrong one. And now we have to walk around again, but it's, it's no big deal. All the thingies are open. Alright, so we know it's this one. It's a switch. We press the beautiful switch. We run away from the scary monsters. And we make a little bit of progress. <gasps> okay, okay, d d don't say anything. Not that I would hear you if you said anything, but if I remember, this way's Toriel's house, but I've never been this way. Seriously, I've never seen this, and right here, apparently a toy knife. I'm not sure why it's lying there, but it's just so cool to play a game again, especially a game like this, because we're not, we're not only reliving the story, and just reliving the story holds so much nostalgia, because this game is so special to me, but there's a whole different story that I've never seen before. And I'm so excited for that. You know, it's funny to be so excited over a game. To feel such strong emotions. But that's, that's the beauty of Undertale. That's why it's probably one of the best games ever made. Because it, it plays on emotions... So well, it's it's so easy to make a game, and it's so hard to make a good game. But to make a game that manipulates your emotions on such a human level, it's nearly impossible. And the fact that it's accomplished here is so beautiful. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. <sighs> yeah. It's the nostalgia. It's pouring into my brain. I'm, I'm really... It, it makes you never want to leave. <laughs> it's my room. <sighs> it's so cute. go into our room. Check this thing out. Okay, we have just just a nice 
a nice room. And this is almost unbearably it, sad and sweet. Because I already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> There's a piece of pie. <laughs> My gosh. Toriel? Good morning, Toriel. Oh my gosh. If I tear up over a game, let's agree to never tell anyone, okay? <laughs> I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to read, so I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Okay. School's sort of a mean word to me, but, you know, I really love learning. It's just, it's just the school, so this can be fun. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, oh, did you want something? What is it? Oh, this is going to break my heart. This is going to break my little 18-pixel heart. Again. This, this is your home now. Uh, would, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Oh, I have to do it. I have to do it again. And it's even sadder this time. It's even sadder this time. <laughs> oh gosh, I have to do it. There's one more thing. I think up here. Oh, there's the rest of the pie. And I think that there might be something in in the fridge. Um What this game does is amazing. If you can't tell, I mean just just from playing this game again and I know I, I'm prone to getting very emotional about everything, but I love this game on both both from a design level and on the level where you're just immersed in the game itself. I've been in this room for five minutes, and I feel so strongly at home. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the exit of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. And I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I'm sorry, Toriel. I am truly sorry. But you know what I have to do. For Sans, for Papyrus, for the game, to save the world from Flowey and to restore peace to the whole ruins. I can do this. I can make it by myself. And one day I'll come back. And and you'll be there. And, and we can live in this beautiful house. Everything can't be perfect. Some things have to be sad. That's That's what makes them beautiful and you and I both know what we have to do oh gosh Toriel you know what I have to do there's only one solution to this but that's not, that's not true. I thought there was, I thought there was last time. And I was wrong. And this time, I am going to get through. I am going to see Sans and Papyrus and everyone I care about in this game. I'm going to experience a completely new, beautiful story. And I'm going to do it without hurting anyone. Anyone at all. This time is going to be different. Ah, gosh, diddly darn it. Okay, we get our health down just a little bit. We mercy 
We partner, we spare. It's going to work out. No one is going to get injured. No one is going to die. Not this time. Not this time. Okay, we get another hit on her. I think we keep getting more damage as the hits go on. All right. Stay on this side. Dodge! Ah! Okay. Half health. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Ah! Oh. Damsel. Damsel! Okay, item. We are going to eat a monster candy, I guess. Beautiful! I think if we can if we can get our health down a little more, she's not gonna be able to hit us. And from there, from there, we can negotiate. Do not get hit! Donut get hit! Ah! Uh, oh! Uh, no! Already! Alright, we're back. We're ready to do this. And I have to mention, this playthrough is going to be hard as all hydro frackin' heck. Because, since we don't injure anyone, we, we can't level. We're gonna have 20 HP for the entire game. We're never gonna get any stronger. Everything that we do is going to have to be, um, you know, you know, oh, whoa, whoa, how did we just... This game remembers too much. This game remembers so much. It just... It, it just... Oh my gosh. Not this time, game. Not this time. Now I'm, I, I'm questioning myself. In a game... I am going... I, I am going to... I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm not going to hurt you. Not this time. I can be different. Okay, we check. And I'm getting pretty good at dodging these attacks, but I'm still taking a few hits. Please, Toriel. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna die if I can't dodge. Let's see if we can spare one more time. Okay, I can dodge this attack. That is good. I can... Oh, I can't dodge that attack. Toriel. How is your day going? Great. Mine a little bit sad just just cuz of this whole thing yeah, don't kill me okay eat the spider donut good 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 we're saving the pie for a special occasion because i think that restores all of your health please toriel oh damsel Dodge, dodge, dodge! One more spell, come on. What am I doing? What am I doing? I am completing this game, well maybe, maybe not, without injuring anyone. Without killing anyone, because it can be done, because it's a better way. It's, it's surprising how emotional I'm getting right now. I'm not going to attack you, I'm not going to hurt you, Toriel! Ah. Ah. What am I proving? I'm not proving anything. I'm legitimately trying to live through the game better. Ah. I'm gonna have to eat the pie. All my consumables are already gone. Power, all my consumables already gone. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna stop it. No thanks. Just 
please let me not take any more damage. Or I'm gonna die. How you doing, Toriel? How are you doing, Toriel? Uh, I'm doing good. No, I'm not gonna go away. I need to go through that door to see all of my lovely friends. See that game I've missed for so long, but I'm not gonna hurt you to do it. I'm not. I'm going to play differently than I did last time, because last time I regretted it so much. Okay, I think we can talk to her now. I think. I think. Now. Alright, we've got to the point where she can't hit me anymore, which is sad and beautiful. I know you want to go home, but... But please, just just go upstairs. I, I promise I'll take good care of you here, but isolation isn't isn't what we need. Toriel, there's a world full of fear and hate, and this is really representative of everything. And I didn't notice that last time, but we can't lock ourselves away. We have to fight it and make the the whole world better. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hurt you. Toriel. I'm not. I won't. Staying here wouldn't save me. I know. I know. It's hard. But you know, too. You know what we have to do. And you know about this beautiful adventure we're about to have. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. <sighs> See you, Toriel. Goodbye, my child. And goodbye, Toriel. Who is hyped who is ready to play through this beautiful amazing wonderful game because i am i really really am i can not wait and through the door we go to evil evil flowey Clever. Oh, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed, but you know what? There's another way. There is another way. No. No, no, no. Yes, I did, but I changed. I got better. I'm not the person I was in the last playthrough, Flowey. I'm not. But he's never, never, ever gonna forget. Are you, are you saying someone else can? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He, this little evil flower, is the only other person who has power over this world. <gasps> oh my gosh! We're already on to a new story. And oh my gosh, I am so ready to play this game. I cannot wait. We're going to have episodes as frequently as I can get them out. And if you like this video, please leave a giant like on this video. And if you like my content, you know, please subscribe. And if you really love it, share it with your friends. We've had 500 subscribers. We're going great. And I, I think we can get another 500 more and that I could seriously turn this into something that would be... I mean, it's it's already real, but that would be very, very big. 
And thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for checking out this series. Thank you so much for joining me in this amazing journey through Undertale that we're going to be continuing. And until the next time, guys, this has been Richie. And I'm out. I'll see ya.